Welcome to my channel, Planning with Maserati and Scripture Writing by Honey. I am going to be doing day 12 of the daily scripture writing. Um, yeah, so before we begin, I'd like to tell everybody welcome. Please subscribe. Hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment and share the video. That would be greatly appreciated. I don't know what it is today, but I, I am freezing. So today is day 12, and you will see it today. Um, yeah, I was kind of tired yesterday, so I didn't film it last night, which I probably should have. So before I start reading the Bible to you, we're going to be doing again Isaiah 33, 1 through 6. And you can find the the prompts at by Rachel Wujo. So I would just type in her name, and what we're focusing on this month is Purposeful Pauls. And we're doing day 12, so I'm going to go ahead and mark that off. And I'll highlight it when I get done. And then I ended up putting a sticker yesterday when I was doing stuff with my stickers, but then I was like, should I film the video today or film the video tomorrow? So I ended up filming it. Actually, today, which is the 12th. So 33, 1 through 6. So this isn't too bad. It's not bad at all. So let's grab the Bible. And if you're curious to the Bible I'm using, it's the NIV, Holy Bible, and it's the large print. And I love large print because, you know, this girl's getting a little older and her glasses are not working. So it says, Distress and help, woe to you, destroyer. You who have not been destroyed, woe to you, betrayer. You have not been betrayed. When you stop destroying, you will be destroyed. When you stop betraying, you will be betrayed. Lord, be gracious to us, for we long for you. Be our strength every morning. I agree so much with that. Our, salva our salvation in time of distress at the uproar of your army, the people flee. When you rise up, the nations scatter. Your plunder, O nations, <clears throat> is harvested as by young locusts. Like a swarm of locusts, people pounce on it. The Lord is exalted, for he dwells on high. He will fill Zion with his justice in righteousness he will be the, he will be the sure foundation for your times a rich store of salvation and wisdom and knowledge the fear of the lord is the key to this treasure i 100% agree with that yeah that was a deep one right there because what i liked it said it in here that where is it at? Lord, be gracious to us. We long for you. And we really do. I mean, if you really think about it, we do. We long for him. Our strength, like we need him to be our strength in the morning. That is like so true. Like when you wake up, you thank God every day that you had another day to wake up. And then... You need him, you know, to conquer your day. So you need him to be your strength. I believe in that 100%. In our salvation in time of distress. And we're always, when we're... <clears throat> I say needy. But, like, when we need him. When we're distressed or we... Um have a problem going on or something we're always needing him so I believe in that 100% and I don't know if I'm betraying the way I'm saying it correctly but yeah like I agree with this verse and not that you know like the verse is wrong and I'm like oh well, no it's wrong no what I'm saying is for my belief, I believe 100%. Yeah. 
because we do when we have a problem who do we go for who do we go to first lord why is this happening you know show me the way you know lead me to the right path and what do we do we don't listen we do the opposite and that's why i want to grow closer that's why I think this here is helping me. Scripture writing has always been my thing, but I think this year I want to grow closer. Like, where I can say verses, I can, you know, like anything, like somebody else can. Like, the only one I can repeat is John 3.16. I mean... I knew that since I was a kid, but what other verses do I really know Like that I can, you know, say out loud and be like, okay, well, this is from here and this and this and this. I can't. Like, I really can't. So that's why I'm like, I need to be closer and focus more on, you know, the Lord. He died for our sins, so why can't we do something for him? I am literally loving this pen as well. I think this is like my two favorite things for May. I mean May. Oh my god, I already got spring on my mind for January. January 2020, not May. Yeah, so this is like my favorite little things. Is a pen and paper. And you can hear my cat crying because why? She has to be with me when I'm filming. So give me one second so I can let her in. Okay, my cat's in. So now I can finish what I was doing. Because God forbid she let me, you know, do my video. Or even do my scripture. But I love that little cat to death. She's like my little, my little best friend. That's so sad. My little cat is my best friend. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but yeah, I love that cat. You are not getting out, Diva. Yeah, so it's like. Be our strength every morning. It's like you have to keep saying that to, you know, I don't know. In time of distress. I feel like because my hands are so cold, my writing is not the, the best right now. But my hands are like freezing. I don't know why. I need to have my blood checked because my hands are freezing. And I'm in the house with the heat on. So that should be like, no, your hands should not be this cold at least. At the uproar of your army, the people flee. The peoples flee. And that is pretty much true. When you rise up, the nations scatter. Whew. That is some strong stuff there. Like, I just got goosebumps from reading that. What does that mean? When you rise up, the nations scatter. And then I just start getting goosebumps. Like, I'm already cold, but I didn't get goosebumps until I just read that. Does that mean anything, or is it just me overthinking? Because, you know, I do overthink a lot. So, I'm talking about this, and I haven't even asked you guys, how are you guys doing? How is your scripture writing going? Are you on day 12 as well? Did you fall off, or are you ahead? Sometimes I do like to be, and I used to do this, like to be ahead. Because 
if I have a busy day or something, I don't have to worry about my scripture writing because I'm like, I have it done. And I got to study and plus I love to write so it makes me want to keep writing. But I'll be like, okay, well let me do day 13, 14, 15 all in one sitting. <laughs> That's the type of person I am. I like to do that. And I don't know why it's like that. I guess I just like it. It's weird how they reference a locust. It says your plunder or nations is harvested as by young locusts. Like a swarm of locust people pounce on it. Like I think I'm going to do a definition of that. What it means in you know the Bible part of it. Because you know I know a locust is I think a bug right? So I'm like I, I know what a locust is and I'm like I think... I think a bug, right? Maserati cannot form a sentence correctly today. But yeah, so it's like, if it's a bug, why wouldn't they say a different kind of bug? Why would it be just a locust? You know, I don't know. I question a lot. Not of the Bible, but just like things that people say. And like, why would you say that and not this? Or why would you say that and not that? I guess it's just curiosity. But, yeah, I do want to see, like, what it means for this passage. Like, why is it talking about locusts and people pounce on it? Like, I don't even remember seeing... Well, no, I think I have seen a locust. I'm not sure. But I don't see anybody pouncing on a locust like a spider or, you know, something else with that nature. <clears throat> but yeah, so that's kind of weird. I want to look it up. I can't believe I'm already on five. But I'm loving how the washi is coming. And then I try to pick a color that kind of like blends in together. So like the sticker and then the washi and then I just went a little bit hotter in the pink because I like the pink with the gold and then I pulled this in which I like. So I'm liking how it comes out. But it's not just about washi tape. It's not just about, again, I'll say this in every single video. If this distracts you, don't do it. Like just first focus on the Lord. And then, you know, you can do your pretty decorating and whatever. You don't even have to decorate. If you have the terriblest writing, and that probably doesn't sound right. Like, if you have a bad writing, you know, Maserati cannot form a sentence. Um, and it looks horrible. And I'm not saying you do. I'm just saying, like, in general. Don't focus on your writing. Just focus on the book, you know, at hand. Like, what are you reading? And what's the verse about? Like, I'm breaking down each verse. And I'm, like, reading it, like, multiple times to understand it. Like, I understood, you know. He's, you know, what did I say? Be our strength every morning. Our salvation in time of distress. And you keep saying that. And you're going to remember that. Okay, for your times. I thought I was losing my space, but no, I found it. So, don't focus on just pretty stuff. Focus on the scripture. And you can write your scripture out and later on put stickers or later on do the washi. I do it ahead of time, so that's not my main focus. Like, I'm just doing pretties and then I do my main focus. So I don't have to be like, oh, wait, let me stop in washi tape or, and I used to do that. I would do that on the videos with you, washi tape it, decorate with me kind of thing. And yeah, I rather my focus be on the word and I hope the same for you.
Oh, today was such a slow day at work. I started at 11 and I got out of there at 2 because it was so slow. No, I started at 11.17 because I was supposed to start at 11.30. So I punch in a little early, you know, just to get some extra hours in. Because all that extra minutes add up. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to start early. And then I'll be here till 4 o'clock. And then they're like, no, can you leave at 3? Because you're going to go into OT. And then on top of it i'm like it is so slow i am getting bored i'm watching people just stand around i'm like do you think i could just leave at two and they're like are you sure i'm like yeah and they're like go ahead i wanted to show you something too as well this is it for the daily scripture reading just in case you didn't know that's why i moved the the bible and stuff and let me get i want to close out the washi but again, I don't want that to be my main focus. Um, oh my god, what did I do with it? I didn't want to use that one. I have a big thing of washi tape. And a tube. Oh, here it is. I'm like, wait, what did I do with it? I think it's at the end. And the reason I do this is that I can start a new day. But because I'm going to do like um the definition of locust so i just want to have the washi tape which i'm using the same one as here and i can have the washi tape ready so when i go study you know do the definition of locust i will know exactly what it means and why it you know why they referenced that's what i should be saying why did they reference a locust when they could have you know referenced something like a spider or something I don't know my mind gets curious like that but I guess that's who we are right so let me put this back and then I'm gonna put definition if you hear anybody sneezing that's my husband and then just the word locust. That way I know exactly what that means. But I wanted to show you this. It's from Creative Devotion. I get them at Family Dollar. And you can pick up Creative Devotion at Michael's as well. But these are only $2. And look at You get this side. And they're moved around. As you can see, they're the same. But look at how many stickers you get. 33 for $2. And this is all grace, be strong, and take heart. You are the God that works wonders. Always be joyful. Having hope will give you... Having hope will give you courage. I couldn't see it in the back. He restores my soul. So yeah, look at Family Dollar if you're looking for, you know, scripture, not scripture writing, little quotes and stuff from the Bible, like Bible verses. Look at Family Dollar, you might find it. Creative Devotion, they have a couple of different ones. So this is the one that I grabbed. So again, thank you for watching, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe and give it a big thumbs up. Have a good day. Bye-bye.